This headless professor video is about how to construct a correlation matrix using Excel. Now the first thing you have to do is to make sure you've added in your VBA data pack in order to have this special add-on. Otherwise all you'll be able to do is just correlate any two variables at a time. But with this special data pack you will be able to construct a complete correlation matrix correlating every variable to every other variable. In this spreadsheet you see that uh, we have 52 subjects in rows 11 through 62. And you can also see that we have these variables and this happens to be an experiment with two groups, an experimental group and a control group. Notice that all of our variables have been coded numerically, including our experimental groups. Experimental group was uh, coded as 1, control group as 0. In this particular case, the research is about whether people would be willing to take in an aging parent. And in half of the questionnaires, we describe the aging parent as suffering from mental decline, such as Alzheimer's disease. In the other half of the questionnaires, we described the parent as suffering from a physical decline. We also measured background variables such as uh, gender, age, whether or not the subject was a parent, and all of these were dummy coded as ones and zeros. The correlation matrix requires that all variables be numerically coded. Okay, we go up here to Tools and we see Data Analysis. Now if you don't have your data pack uh, entered as an add-on, you will not have this option under Tools. So we click on Data Analysis. And you see now you can do different kinds of ANOVAs and covariants. But let's click on Correlation. OK. Now we are going to enter the entire input range where all of your data are. So you could type in uh, B11 colon. And then your last data point would be in the uh, lowest uh, right hand corner. In this case, that would be O62. So that's our entire area. The variables are defined by the columns. We just click on OK and watch what happens. Boom. That's a correlation matrix. Now here's a way to make it even more um, clear about what's going on. Copy your variable names that we have on top of sheet 1 and go back to this and then paste those variable names. Now over here on the column, type in those variable names. Group male age whether or not one is a parent, early childhood relationships with father, early childhood relationships with mother, whether one is the oldest sibling, youngest sibling, the middle sibling, and only child, uh, social class, religiosity, whether or not someone would take the father, and whether or not someone would take the mother. And so this is a correlation matrix to find out the correlation between any two variables. 
find one of the variables as a row and find the other variable as a column. So one's quality of uh, previous relationships with the father and whether or not someone would actually take uh, the father, that would be right here between these two uh, correlations. So that's how the correlation matrix can be constructed in Excel. You need the add-on. Now, is this easier than to use a program like SPSS or JASP? No, it's better to use those other programs. But if all you have is Excel, this is how you can do it.